And there's one Stephen Plot 32. There it is, Plot 32. Don't know why I say Plot 32, you know it's me and you know it's Steve. See what's going on down here. Not a lot really, I've only been down a few times. But it's been a bit pants this last month or so. But. Didn't think it was recording. It is. So it's, it's still reasonably tidy down here. So that's the weeds and a lot of copper. Saved over the year that I'll rot down in this couple of years, and they use that on the compost. So it's still reasonably tidy, still trying to get rid of that. So, uh, that still cut, needs to cut some more, more of that back. But what I'm going to do is, all the other bramble bushes that I waste that I've got, I'm going to chop down as much as I can and just leave it on the floor like a mulch and just it suppress the weeds. At least it doesn't get as bad because of the, the brambles are all going up there. In there, there's brambles, there's raspberries, there's herbs in there somewhere, there's a New Zealand flax which needs cutting down so there's a bit in there but I left the herbs in there basically for, just for the um, nature to have but yeah, they'll probably get in there like they walking like they normally do down here not much happening down here still haven't build another bed in here so that might be a plan for over winter I'll probably say this next year still be doing the same but I'm not in no rush. Uh, beds. Three beds here. I've got some leaves have been dropped off. I ain't got a space yet to put the leaves. Because I ain't got rid of my last year's leaves. They're still rotting down. It's a bit early. So what I've done is filled the bed up. So I brought four or five inches of leaves on each one. And just put some netting over. And just let the worms do the business. Leave it up to rot down. Because if you leave the top off, they'll just blow away like they've done in, in in years gone by. So that's the plan. It's worked on one of the other plots I did, where I left the leaves on, leaves on top on the cover. Weeds did get through, but time will tell if the soil's any better because it's always like clear. So that's what I'm going to cut down. Best I can use, use it as mulch around the sturdy edges, which you can't get to. And so the beds, so the beds are well watered. Need a little bit of weeding, not, not much. But um, it's a bit too wet to weed it at the moment. This is the bed that I covered with leaves last year, just let to rot down. They have gone down, don't get me wrong. But that it was it was a, a rubbish bed anyway. So I just thought the leaves would maybe make it a bit more better. So what I might do is cover it again with more leaves this year and cover it over and see how it goes. I didn't miss the bed last year. So, so you see I've got three beds there, which, to be fair, that soil that I put on there, what I got given, it was good soil when I got delivered, I thought this is alright, but once it had been rained on, it was just subsoil, it was just full of stones, just like a beach. So this area, um, still the same, not happened, still got a cabbage, don't think that'll survive, some small sprouts up there, not much. Make, make it might get a tea out of it. So, I'll just show you this. What I've got a plan is, I've got one, two, three, I've got four panels of Harris fencing, Harris fencing, what you got? Like this one. Some of it's stuck and some of it in. I need to take it. I'll show you where I go around here. I need to utilise it best I can. And then a bit of an issue beginning of the week. I was not been down for a while, came down. I said there's no happening. No happening in the greenhouse. It's wet through. There must be a leak somewhere in the greenhouse. Um, real bad plants. They all need scraping back and get rid of all the crap. They've all been um, fed. Bramble, uh, raspberries, gooseberries, black currants. They need trimming back. Yeah, still haven't done that with this any more gravel down here yet. Right then. And pond. Bear in mind I've had it four or five years. I've having to put wire mesh all the way around. Put I put chicken wire on, put some metal supports underneath just to support it out of the water. The reason why I've done that, I found a bloody hedgehog in it. It it, it drowned and I was totally peed off that I found it in there. I was Swearing like mad, cursing it, the bloody pond, blah blah blah. 
it's my fault. I should have covered it over from day one. Never did. Fortunate. Um, that's the only issue that I've had since I've had it. So now I want to keep it covered over. So this is that's going to be a pain in the pain in the bum to keep taking it off of time to, to clean it all out. So I'm thinking of getting that Harry's fencing, cut, cutting it to shape, to rest on top, and maybe put the chicken wire on top of it. Because I think that the gaps in between the fencing, probably about two inches, three inches, I don't want that falling through. So I'll have to leave some sort of gap for frogs, newts, and anything else that needs to get through. So the plan is to take it home, cut it into sections, I just lay it on top and cover it over. Cause I can't, I'm not, you, you're trying to do your garden as organic as you can. Everything, your pond's in there to help nature. Then what do you do? Then you cause an issue by killing the, the nature that you've got. So I was really, I was really peed off that I found it. But, but I'm the dear fan on the road. I've been hit by vehicles. So I'm still going to be peed off about it anyway. I'm going to do my best to try and cover it over. So that'll time you over till I get the, the fencing cut down. So that's that sorted out. Trim the bushes back, get rid of some of the weeds. So it does look it does look better like that. So greenhouse, not happening in the greenhouse. All the tomatoes have all gone there, all the last few. They're no good now, I think get um binned. But we're gonna tidy up in here. Last year I filled it in with my own compost. This year, for next year when it's coming, I'm not going to plant that in the, up to now. I'm not going to plant that in the soil. I'm going to buy some five litre buckets, ten litre buckets, and plant stuff in the buckets. So like chilies, peppers, and in the buckets, they should be all right. I mean, like if I wanted to, I could cut the base off, then plant it on the soil, and let the roots go into the soil. But I'm trying to leave the soil this year, I think. To regenerate a little bit, put a bit back into it best I can. So not what's happening down here. So if these are one, two, three, there before last year's compost, year before it's compost, which I can use, that's empty. In there, oh, so that's me my compost from this year, last year. So I put that over to dry it because it's getting a bit wet and I want to bag it all up. This year's compost, leaf mould. So it is writing down, there's a few M's in there. A few bits and bobs I've took out. A bit of perspex from work. And that's it, folks. So, so I've done a little bit. Little, little and often, which helps. So I will catch you later on. Just give you one, one down on here, and that's not happening down here. But, so, I mean, me, me bramble, or bramble, apple, pear, cherry is looking better than last year, so I might get some of this. Anyway, that's it, folks. Catch you soon.